Hey YouTube, so today for Vlog Every Day in April, I'm going to show you my favorite dinner of right now. It is macaroni and cheese with fresh asparagus and roasted chicken. And for good measure today, I'm going to also make some of these mashed potatoes that I know are not actual mashed potatoes, but I don't care. I'm gonna make them and then I'll have them as leftovers to eat with everything all week. So yeah, so the ingredients you'll need is macaroni and cheese and these ingredients, uh, asparagus and butter and salt, just uh, roasted chicken from the grocery store, mix and whatever ingredients it needs. And then I'm also gonna add some of this red onion to the mashed potatoes because I think that sounds really good. Okay, the next step is to obviously get your water boiling for your macaroni and cheese. Uh, I do not actually have six cups of macaroni and cheese here because I'm going to split my macaroni and cheese into two bits so that because it doesn't keep very well, so I don't want to cook the whole thing and then have leftovers, and I don't want to eat the whole thing either. So, if you can see in the shot, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, to split the macaroni and cheese in half, I usually get a measuring cup if I can find one anywhere. And the measuring cup is clean. Okay. So, get a measuring cup. And I open up the macaroni. Sorry I'm like hiding from the camera today. I look really gross. I just put on my pajamas because I'm tired. Um, pick up the cheese. Aww. And then put all of that macaroni. So you put all of the macaroni in here. So you measure it out. And then see how much macaroni there is in this box. It's different for every different kind of macaroni and cheese, but this one has one and a third. So I'm gonna dump all but one and, or all but two thirds. Pull the cup back. So now I have two thirds, which is half. And then I'll take the cheese packet and smooth it all out and fold it in half. And just kind of like shake it so that it'll stay. So then I will use this much of the cheese and leave this much in. So now I got my macaroni and cheese. That looks way hotter than it actually is. Anyway, I got my macaroni and cheese boiling on away on the stove. This has been in there for like three minutes. Um, I just turned on my asparagus to high. You can't really see that. I just turned on my asparagus because they're really skinny asparagus. I cut up about six stalks. And then in the microwave, you can probably hear it, is the mashed potatoes warming up. So yeah, and now I will get some chicken off of that chicken. That chicken. And then I will start to assemble my plate once that is cooked all the way. And there you can see I chopped up some onion. And now I'm like crying. I just took really, really thin, like there's perspective of how big it is with the knife. Um, really, really small pieces. Um, sorry, I'm crying. Uh, really thin slices off of here. That was the front. Uh, really thin slices and then just chopped them up really tiny to put in the mashed potato. So, as I stir the butter into this macaroni, one thing I forgot to tell you before, I'm not even going to try that, okay, um, put half as much of all of the ingredients because it's half as much of the pasta. Uh, there's my asparagus, almost done, and my mashed potatoes with the red onions in it, and my chicken from my chicken. Okay. Okay, so here is my finished dinner. It looks like way more mac and cheese than I planned, but that's all right, because mac and cheese is good. So my mashed potatoes, my mac and cheese, my asparagus, and my chicken. And I hope you enjoyed the video, and it made you as hungry as I am right now. And I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.